Hey there. I hope you're doing good today. Today is day 28 of the 30 day art challenge. Woo! Two more days. Today the challenge is to do an animal and to have some kind of a metaphor that relates an animal to God and your relationship with him. And I really, really wanted to paint the peacock that I had planned on painting the rest of it out. Um, but the blue-footed booby is what I have been wanting to paint forever. They are this, just the happiest looking little birds. They actually fly. They're goofy looking. They're clumsy. So they're not perfect birds by any means. And they live over in the um, Galapagos Islands, I think, in that area. But I've always been fascinated by the blue-footed booby and how brilliant and blue their feet are and their beaks have some blue on them. And I just think they're a really cool looking funny little bird. And I thought, well, how, what kind of metaphor could I relate that to as far as with God? And I think it can got, kind of be where I kind of acknowledge that God does have a sense of humor and that He really does want the best for us as children of Him and as a child of God. I should have that goofy, clumsy love for what I do and what I do for the glory of God. And my attitude towards life, it should be goofy and fun and it should not be all sadness and woe because of all the terrible things going on in the world. So my metaphor is the blue-footed booby is a comical goofy, childlike resemblance of me and what we should be as children of God. We should have that innocence and that joy about life that children have where you're not so cynical and judgmental. So I'm doing the blue-footed booby. So I'm doing it on acrylic paper by Strathmore. It is um, the 400 series and it's 246 pounds so it's got actual texture to it but on the opposite side of it it is smooth this is like a pad of 10 sheets and I have used them for small acrylic pours and like artwork uh, I did that butterfly challenge I did that on acrylic paper so I've taped it off once again on a piece of cardboard to give me some, some substance so that I can get a little bit more stability with it and kind of move it around a little bit more solidly. And then I've coated it with DecoArt's Media Matte Medium. And it, what it says is it is uh, extremely versatile, it uses a top coat or mix with fluid acrylic to increase color transparency, used to decoupage or create image and photo transfers, used as a barrier between solvent-based products, used as a clear ground, used as spray fixative when thinned with water to prevent smudging. So you have, it's got multiple uses. It's called matte medium, M-A-T-T-E, matte medium. So I put a coat of that on the paper just for the heck of it, just to give me almost like a coat to keep the paper firm and uh, it dried very quickly. It soaked it right up. It's almost like a coat of primer, but it, it dried clear. So that's what I coated it with. Then I taped it down on my cardboard so I have about a half inch uh, barrier. And then I'm going to transfer this and I, what I did, I'll show you after I pick it up. There's pencil on the back side where I scrubbed my pencil on the back side really good. And then I put it, lay it down and tape it. 
and then I'm going to press down my pattern of the shape with my ballpoint pen. So what this does is it just, it's, it's kind of like using transfer paper or carbon paper between a picture and your painting surface. So I'm going to peel this and just make sure it's coming out dark enough. And it is. And it moved a little bit, so I've got to make sure I get it right back where I had it. So I'm just doing the, the basic shapes that I need, the outline of the bird. And, you know, when I paint, it doesn't have to be totally photorealistic. It's just my take on you know whatever I'm painting at the time and today it's the blue footed booby I don't know if, you know there may be some people that have never even seen a blue footed booby but I, I just fell in love with this little bird and I didn't even know they could fly until I went and read just a little while ago they can fly and they dive bomb down in the ocean and their their main source of food is sardines and so they're becoming more rare because there's less and less sardines available in the ocean. And that's what helps them reproduce. Something in sardines is good for their reproductive system. And so because of the shortage of sardines, then there's less of the blue-footed boobies, which I thought was pretty kind of interesting. So the, it's like a it's like a duck foot that they have, but they have little claws on the ends of them too. Little white claws, like right down here. And I didn't e see, I didn't even know they had those until I was tracing this out. Isn't that interesting? But I guess that's what they grab, they grab their prey with. I think, I think I pretty much have the shape drawn in. So I'm going to lift this up and see I have this nice pattern ready to go. So here's what I did on the back. I just drew in with pencil on the back. I just scrubbed it with pencil. This is the old-fashioned way of transferring pictures. I have a couple of references of little blue-footed boobies, um, but I really like this big one the best, and I printed it big so that I, it could pretty much take up my whole paper. And I was trying to decide if I'm going to do a background. I'm not really certain. I think I'm just going to paint the bird in first. And then I may not paint a background in at all. And this is my handy little eraser that I like. That um, if I have any smudges from the pencil that was on the piece of paper I transferred from, I just come back and use my little eraser to get the smudges off. because pencil is sometimes like charcoal and charcoal can smear very easily. So I'm going to pick my colors out. I'm using Arteza because I love the vividness of their colors, so I'm, I'm definitely going to use their blues. And I don't have any of their white left because they're, they're little tubes of white, so I've got a little bit of Deco Art, which is thin, and I've got Master's Touch, which is thick. And then pretty much I need brown and black for the wings. And maybe a little bit of a golden, 
a golden color that's going to be on the reflection or the, the highlights of their wings. And so I need the brown and black. I mean, I'll get the Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray is not gray. It's actually almost a dark, dark, dark turquoise color. So I'm getting a few of those colors from that batch. And I may use raw sienna, I'm not sure. So I'm getting out, I've gotten out a bunch of the warm browns. Kind of a deep red that I may use in the brown, I'm not sure. I got an apricot, may or may not use it, a gray. I've got my whites my black and then all my blues for the feet. So I'm pretty much ready to roll. So I think what I'll do is I'll paint in the the head part first. I'm going to speed through this because it's going to take me a few hours to paint and I know you don't want to watch for a few hours. So that's why I always speed my videos up to try to make it a little bit easier for you to watch.
say, I think I'm done. I, I think I should have just left it with the white background. Maybe I shouldn't have put the, uh, the background in, but it is what it is. Here's my blue fitted booby. And that is, you know, water and sea goats and rock, ground. That's what that represents. So that is my metaphor for the animal challenge, the blue-footed booby. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.